Hello YouTube, this is just another example of where I go through um, a problem in which we want to solve an equation of course, but we're starting with something that is very much a verbal model, working our way to an algebraic model by putting in variable letters, okay, and then substituting the values we know to solve for something that we say desire to know. So let's go ahead and get started. We say a patient in their treatment is ordered to receive 35 cc's of a drug A, and the orders are for 15 cc's of drug A immediately and then to have the remaining cc's administered by a gravity drip at a rate 5 cc's per hour. So The first thing I want to do is write a verbal model to relate the total amount of the drug to time. Okay, so we want to relate uh, the amount of the drug to time. Oh, that was kind of crooked. Relate. Wow. Total amount of the drug to time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and kind of consider what we already know here. They were ordered to receive a total of 300, or excuse me, 35 cc's of drug A, but they're ordered to get 15 up front, and then to have the, the excuse me, the remaining cc administered at a gravity drip rate of 5 cc's per hour. So when we consider this, we might consider this: the total amount of the drug. We say total amount would be equal to the initial amount, what you're given right off the bat, so it seems like we say starting amount, starting amount, okay, plus now um, we say <laughs> the amount of time times the rate, okay. In other words, we could look at it this way. We say total amount of the drug, we'll call this A, would be the same thing as the starting amount. We got 15 cc's right off the bat, plus however many hours we have at 5 cc's per hour. So we say 5 cc's per hour times the number of hours. Okay, so times hours. That's how we'd find out how much has been given. 15 plus 5 per hour times the number of hours. And so substituting in letters, we could say the amount we have then is 15 plus 5 times t. We'll let t represent the number of hours. But essentially, this is what we have from our verbal model. We'd say, oh, this is how you would figure out the amount of the drug. The original 15 plus 5 per hour times however many hours. So that being said, we've already been told a few things here. We've already labeled our verbal statements, this letter b here. We need to substitute in our values for our labels now. So we got the initial 15 right off the bat, near home here. We say 5 cc's per hour, that is our rate. Okay. Now we say their total, their total amount of drug A they're supposed to get here is this 35 cc's. And so that can actually be substituted in to our verbal model right here. Okay, so we say, uh, plugging in, we'll go ahead and put in a blank set of parentheses first. But we get 35 cc's. So our question, question is this, excuse me. How much time is it going to take to administer all of this? And so when we say how much time is it going to take, we really want to solve for this t right here. And so we'll just undo this algebraically. So starting with our 15 here, we'll subtract 15 from both sides. The initial 15 we started with, which says there are 20 more to give, times 5 per hour times the number of hours. And we say, okay, we'll divide both sides by 5 to undo the multiply by 5. We end up with this. The amount of time it'll take should be 4 hours. Okay, cheers.